Investments Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Welcome to Chai Blossom Cafe here in Pauley's Island. With us is a chef, Adam Kirby. He is a former South Carolina chef ambassador. He's a fisherman and he owns two restaurants down here, Bistro 217 and a rustic table right across basically the road from here where we are at Pauley's Island. Adam, my friend, it's good to see it's you again. Good to again. see you. Man, good I to see you. Glad you, to be back. What are you going to be cooking up for me today? Well, um, we caught that monster black drum, so I figured we'd come out here and, and show everybody how to how to cook a black drum. Well, okay, and I have to tell you, this guy caught a 122-pound black drum right here off the coast of South Carolina. This guy's a fisherman. We're going to have him out on the boat, uh, and we're going to do a full-length show. So I'm, I'm ready to eat some of your drum. Let's do it. Let's All do right. it. So uh, the most important thing, seasoning goes a long way for everybody, sure. right? So I'm just going to do, I got a little salt and pepper mixture. Okay. You know, you don't eat one side of the fish, you eat both sides of the fish, so we salt both sides. This is just pistachios, a little bit of day old breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay. And uh, I got a pretty hot pan over here. We're going to use just a little bit of olive oil. We're going to kind of mash that fish in those. Into uh, the pistachio. Into the pistachio. Yeah, okay. Crust. Now, how long are we going to let this cook for? Uh, well, you, 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 you do it till it's tender. So it's a pretty little thick piece of black drum. And what I'll do is, this thing's rocking and rolling about as hot as it can get. I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in there to really brown it. Once that butter breaks down into milk solids and milk proteins, right. um, it'll give it a little bit of color. I got some local tomatoes and some roasted cauliflower, some zucchini and squash. I'll mm. throw these in the pan over here. A little bit of broccolini, some Brussels sprouts, a couple of little pieces of asparagus. I'm gonna throw folks, some butter in the copy, pan. Yeah, if you want a copy of Adam's recipe, just log on to BobRedfern.com. And go to the sportsman's table and black drum recipe will be right there. Mm. Smells awesome. Once your fish is almost done and tender, pop that sucker on there. Yeah. Right. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna come over here. Get a little whoops. Whoops. Just a little bit of uh, there we go. our vinegar in there. We're gonna put a little vinegar in here. Right, you glaze the plan. A little sugar balances out that vinegar feeling because you like all the different kinds of feelings in your food. We're gonna let that reduce down. We got some cold butter. A little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of cold butter. Listen, that vinegar will open up your nostrils too. Yeah, mm. well. Mm, it's great smell. Now, is this something that you offer in the restaurant as well? Yeah, we do stuff like this every day. You awesome. know, uh, that's all we do. We call up the guys in the morning, hey, what kind of fish you got? Call up Seven Seas, a couple of local fishermen uh, around here, and ask them what they got. And we, of course, we got tons of fish on our regular menus, too. Right. We do all kinds of fish, you know, a lot of local farms and everything. That Chef Ambassador program, we promise to use, you know, a pretty good portion oh, yeah. of our product Certi come from South Carolina. Certified SC grown. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. And there we go. And that's it. Wow. Right drum. Well, as always, my friend. Good to see you. Great catch, yeah. black drum, Thanks 122 so pounds. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I've got to get you out on the boat, okay? I've been remiss, and we're going to do that, we'll all right? Do it. And yes, we, sir. we will then see you reeling it in, and then we'll come in and cook it. And with that, folks, if you'd like another great recipe or you'd like some food, just like we cooked here today, come on down to Pauly's Island, 217 Bistro, the rustic table, and drop on by the chive blossom. They will cook up some of the best South Carolina food you've ever eaten in your life. Again, log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com. See what's fresh on your menu next time. We're going to be right back here on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina-grown products. It's a matter of taste.